Okay, finding common factors. This is one of the things that you need to be able to do to do more advanced work with fractions, which we will be doing. You need to be able to find common factors and also find the greatest common factor. So we'll talk about finding common factors first, and we'll look at a couple of examples. Here we're told to find the common factors of 15 and 20, and this is pretty easy. All you do is list the factors of each number, and then take note of which factors the two numbers have in common. So the common factor, or the factors of 15, we'll just write them out. That's pretty easy. 1, 3, 5, and 15. And then the factors of 20 would be 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. And then just find the numbers that are in this list and in that list. And the number 1 shows up in both lists, and the number 5. So 1 and 5 are the common factors of, of uh, 15 and 20. Those are the numbers that 15 and 20 have in common as factors. Now when the numbers get larger, or when the numbers have a lot of factors, it's a little bit trickier. 18 and 48 the number 18 has 1 as a factor, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. And then 48 has a lot of factors. 1, 2, 48 is divisible by 3 also, because 3 times 16 is 48. So 3 is a factor. And 4, because 4 times 12 is 48. And then 6 times 8 is 48, so 6 and 8 are both factors. And then 12, we said, because 12 times 4, and 16, and then 24, and 48. So that's all the factors of 48. Now the numbers that are common to both lists are 1, 2, 3, and 6 is in both lists. So those are the common factors of 18 and 48.